What do you get when you cross a peacock with a disco ball? The Grammy's red carpet, of course. Let's see who wore it best. Or shall we say, who wore it most? Taylor Swift, breaking records and hearts. She's the queen of album of the year and apparently the queen of secrets, too. Can't wait for the tortured poets department. Or is it the department of tortured poets? Miley Cyrus says, winning a Grammy is amazing, but hopes it doesn't change anything. Well, Miley, it might change the size of your trophy shelf. Big shout out to Victoria Mona Copyright T for thanking the real MVPs of the night, the champagne servers. And here I was thinking music was the focus. Olivia Rodrigo brought the vampire to the Grammys, complete with bloodletting decor. Talk about committing to a theme. Stevie Wonder gave us the best is yet to come, but at this point I'm wondering if the Grammys can get any better. Jay-Z's got 99 problems, but a Grammy ain't one. He's calling for change, and let's face it, he's not just talking about Bianca Copyright's Album of the Year snub.